We're going to turn now to the latest on former President Trump's civil fraud trial in a case brought by New York's Attorney General. Our senior investigative correspondent, Aaron Katursky, is tracking the trial. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning to you, Michael. Former President Trump wants to deliver his own closing statement today, but he never agreed to the judge's terms to stick to the facts and to avoid politics. Trump says he's going to be showing up here this morning and still would like to personally do the closing argument, but it's not clear the judge is going to let him. The judge gave Trump a deadline to agree to speak only about the relevant material facts that are in evidence and not to make a campaign speech or impugn the judge, his staff, the court. The defense called those limitations very unfair and fraught with ambiguities. But in a heated response, the judge said, take it or leave it, now or never. Trump never responded, so the judge said he's assuming Trump will not be speaking. It is extremely irregular for a defendant who has attorneys to do his own closing statement. But for Trump, this may be a last chance to save his business. The judge has already found he inflated his net worth by as much as $2.2 billion, giving him better terms on bank loans. And the New York attorney general is seeking a $370 million fine and a ban on for Trump from New York real estate. And, George, that's the very industry that helped propel him to the White House. No question George. about it. I think there's a real question about whether he really wants to testify as well. Okay, Aaron Katursky, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.